just like how we can use a decorator on a class and a class property in the same way we can also use decorators on getters and setters so in this lecture we are going to learn how to use decorators on accessors that means getters and setters and we are going to understand it with a practical example let's go to vs code and inside this class first of all let me go ahead and let me create a getter property and a setter property so here i am going to make this price property as private and i'll rename it as underscore price okay and for this price here it should be this dot underscore price and for this price we are going to create a getter and a setter so to create a getter we use get keyword and then let's simply call it as price and if you remember we implement a getter like a function right so from here we are going to return this dot underscore price in the same way let's also create a setter for the price using which we can set the value for the price property so for that let's say set and again i'm going to call it as price this is going to be implemented like a function and this setter here it is going to receive the new price so let's simply call it as value which is going to be of type number and here before setting the price what we will do is first we will check if value is greater than zero because if the price is zero or less than zero that means that price is invalid so we don't want to set that price for the product so we are checking if the value that means if the new price if it is greater than zero then only we are going to set this dot underscore price to that value otherwise we won't do anything okay we will not set the value or maybe what we can also do is we can throw a new error for that we will use throw new error and there for the error message let's say price should be a value greater than zero okay all right so here we have two accessors we have one getter and we have one setter now let me go ahead and let me create a decorator which we will use on this getter and setter so first of all let's go ahead and let's create a new function here which we will use as decorator and let's call this function access logger you can name it anything and we want to use this function as a decorator and we want to use it on an accessor like get and set so to use a function like a decorator first we use at and then we specify the name of the decorator the name of the function now here we have this error because when we are using this decorator on an accessor for that decorator function we are going to receive three parameters the first parameter will be the target and again just like property decorator this target will be the prototype object if the accessor is not a static property in this case it is an instance property it is not a static property but if this accessor if it is a static property if we use static in front of it in that case it will become a static property so in that case this target will be the constructor function it is going to receive the constructor function okay so here i'm going to specify the type as any because it can be a constructor function so basically it can be a function or it can be an object then it is also going to receive the accessor name the property name on which we are going to use this decorator so for now i'll simply call it as name you can also call it property name or property key or anything like that and it is going to be of type string and it can also be a symbol so you can also use union type here and specify symbol because a property name can also be a symbol right but to keep things simple i will simply specify the type as string and finally we are also going to receive a third parameter let's call it as descriptor and it is going to be of type property descriptor okay so before writing any logic let me show you what this target this name and descriptor will contain so for that let's go ahead and let's write console.log statement first of all i'll say access logger decorator called all right then let me copy it let me paste it three times and here i want to log target here i want to log name and here i want to log descriptor save the changes 
all right so first we are seeing this access logger decorator called then target is basically the prototype object here okay and then the property name is price and the descriptor here it is an object where we have the getter and setter so we have the getter function and setter function we have enumerable which is currently set to false and configurable set to true but we can tweak these values so this is what the descriptor will look like okay in this descriptor you see we have get and set properties which is storing the getter and setter functions all right so now we know what this target name and this descriptor is going to store now let's go ahead and let's write some logic inside this function so what i want is whenever the getter function will be called before getting the price value we want to show a message let's say accessing property value and whenever we are going to use the setter to set the value for the price at that time before setting the value we want to show a message setting property for price something like that so the first thing which we are going to do here is we are going to create variable so i'll create a getter variable and to that i'm going to assign the getter function from this descriptor so just now we saw that inside this descriptor we have a property called get which stores the getter function in the same way i am going to create another variable setter and in this i am going to store the setter function so for that i can call the set property this i am doing because we are going to modify the getter and setter from this descriptor all right now we are going to change the get and set property value so here we will say descriptor dot get so we are changing the get property of the descriptor to that we are going to assign another function and since we are assigning another function that's why first we have stored the original getter and setter function in these variables now what we are going to do here so the first thing which we are going to do is we are going to log a message in the console and here let me use back ticks and let's say accessing value for property and then let's use the property name so for that i'm using template literal syntax here so first we use dollar after that a set of curly braces and in that we are going to use the property name so we are going to receive the property name in this name parameter so i'm going to use that parameter here okay so first we are going to show this message and then we will check if there was a setter in this product class for that property so for this name parameter we are going to receive the property name so we are checking if for that property if we have any getter or setter so here we are going to check if this getter has a function because this descriptor dot get will be null if there is no getter property in the same way this descriptor dot set will be null if there is no setter property but in this case we have the getter and setter so that will not be null so before doing anything first we are going to check if this getter is null or it has some function stored in it if there is a function stored in it we are going to call that function okay and to call that function what we are going to do is on this getter we are going to use this call method and to that we are going to pass this and this here will point to the current object okay so basically what we are doing is we are calling the original getter function we are calling this getter all right but before calling that here we are also logging this message accessing value for property and then the property name okay so here we have modified the getter let's also modify the setter so let's say descriptor dot set equals again we are going to pass a function here in this function we are going to receive the new value for the price which the user will set so i'll simply call it as value which is going to be of type number here and again inside this setter first we are going to log a message and here let's say again i'll use back ticks and let's say setting value for property and then the property name again i'm going to use the name parameter here after that again first we will check if there is any setter so we are storing the setter method inside this setter variable so if 
it is not null that means there is a set of function in that case we are going to call that set of function so again we will say value dot call and actually it should be setter dot call not value dot call okay so setter dot call we are calling the original setter function there we are going to pass the current object which will be stored in this variable and then the value with which we want to set it so that new value we are going to receive inside this value parameter all right and finally from this function we are going to return the descriptor okay now let me scroll down let me clear everything here okay so here we have created an instance of that product class now here let me go ahead and let me try to log the value of p dot price so here i'll say p dot price so here when we are saying p dot price it is going to call this getter function okay and on that we have used this access logger decorator so instead of directly returning the value first it is going to log the message that accessing the value of price and then it is going to return the value so if i save the changes here you see first we are seeing this message accessing value of property price and then it is logging the value of price and for some reason it is undefined so that is coming from line number 109 so at this line when we are logging p dot price it is logging undefined that's because here when we have modified this getter from here we are calling the original getter function but we also need to return something from here so from here let me return undefined okay so if the getter is not there in that case we will return undefined otherwise we will return the value which the original getter will return so this getter function it is going to return us the price right so that same value we want to return from here with this if i save the changes now now you see it is logging 2400 when we are trying to log the price okay and before that it is also logging this message accessing value for property price now let me also try to set the price value so i'll say p dot price equals 3000 let's save the changes so first we are seeing this message setting value for property price because first we are setting the price so the setter will be called here okay this one will be called and here we log in this message setting value for property and then the property name and since we are not returning any value from here that's why nothing else is logged here it is not logging the new price or anything but after that when we are trying to log the price after we have set a new price we can see this message accessing value for property price and then the new value so in this way we can also use decorators on accessors like getter and setter now you might ask i have only used this access logger on the getter but not on setter then how come the setter is also working when we are trying to set the value that time also the decorator function is getting executed that's because both these properties have the same name okay this getter and setter property have the same name that's why i have used it on only getter but it will also get executed when the setter will be called this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day